Hi, this is Pat. I'm going to teach you how to make some great make-believe cheese, vegan, non-dairy. And the first thing you'll do, we got these cashews on sale, 42 ounces for $9.99 at our local lumber store, of all things. So we'll use, they're roasted and salted. So what I'm going to do is take two cups of those and make a double batch. One, two, basically. Put them in my dish strainer. I'm going to rinse them out. Rinse all the extra salt. Now the recipe calls for one cup of water, but we're making a double batch. So we're doing two cups of purified water. One, two, and then they call for a garlic clove, but we're going to substitute one-fourth teaspoon of garlic powder equals one garlic clove. So we're going to do that double because we're doubling the recipe. So we put one-half teaspoon because we're doing a double batch. Next, we need three tablespoons of lemon juice. We're doubling the mass, so we're using six. Here's lemon juice. Shake before using. Use six. One, six. So now we got the lemon juice in there. And then we need normally three tablespoons of nutritional yeast. Again, we're doubling the batch, so we're using six. Here's nutritional yeast. Buy it at any grocery store, basically. One, two. My wife likes this on her popcorn all, so it's a good flavor. It's very, very helpful. Four, five, and six. So there's our nutritional yeast. And then we need to do sun-dried tomatoes. It calls for one-fourth cup. We're using one-half cup. But the first thing I'll do is get these cashews dumped in here. Cashews. Get those out of the way. Cashews are in. Now... Sun-dried tomatoes are very oily, which I don't like. So I'm going to, uh, I think the sun-dried tomatoes are mainly color. I'm not sure if they do much flavor. So I'm going to wash out the oil, first of all. And we need a, it calls for a fork a cup, but we need more than that. So we're going to use a half cup. And we'll probably use a ball or sun-dried tomatoes, I'm guessing. We're close to it. So you got all the grease with the oils off of there. And that's the sun-dried tomatoes, what they look like. Look delicious. We'll put those in there. It's going to pretty much, uh, I think it's going to be our whole, looks about a half cup there, right? Dump those in there. And do we need anything else? No, I think we got it. Oh, it calls for one tablespoon of onion flakes, yes, which we will double. So we got the onion flakes. Brand new container. One, two, add a little extra because I like that. I love onions. Then we should be pretty much set to rock and roll. So we got one tablespoon of cashews, 
They should be raw, but we didn't. We cheated. We did not use raw cashews. And then uh, one cup water, one fourth cup sun dried tomatoes, one clove garlic, three tablespoons lemon juice, three tablespoons nutritional yeast, one tablespoon onion flakes, and one half tablespoon of salt, which we're going to double and use one tablespoon of salt. I cut back a little bit of the salt because I don't care for as much salt, so I use about three quarters tablespoon of salt just to keep it a little bit more healthful. Then we're pretty much set to rock and roll on this thing. We are going to cover this up and then grind to our heart's content. Should you do a chop, mix, or puri, I wonder. Name puri. Now here's a look at after it's finished blending. It looks pretty good. Again, we've got quite a bit. Then what we've got here, we've got non-BPH-free containers that you can vacuum seal with this little pump. It costs us $10 or something for the whole works, well, four containers and a pump, great. And again, it will vacuum seal just to preserve things and keep the nutrients in there longer. So we'll open this up. And we'll I'm going to do something a little bit different just for a little extra bonus. I'm going to try and add some red peppers, some fire roasted red peppers from Trader Joe's. Put one of those in there and just see how it changes the taste if it does at all. Got some interested. red peppers. Ooh, look good. Guess one of those would be good, huh? Slop that baby in there. A fire roasted red pepper. And we'll put the lid back on here once and uh, let her flicker. On. Now we'll see if this tastes any different. I kind of like it. The red pepper gives it a little different taste. Now you can cook a baked potato. Do something like a baked potato or broccoli or beans. Put some over the top. Tomorrow we're going to make a couple of homemade pizzas. My son's got a recipe for the sauce. So I'll get the recipe for the dough. Make a couple of pizzas. I'm going to put some of this on the pizza just to see what it tastes like. Just for the heck of it. But that's the cashew recipe, and you look at the color difference here of the without the red pepper and with the red pepper. You see it's a little more orange colored. And I think it's pretty, I, I like the red pepper taste, it's pretty good, so I'm glad. You heard it here first, add some roasted red peppers for that extra oomph. Thank you for watching, hope this helped you, and God bless. Enjoy your kosher cheese. Very good, excellent. Got a full quart basically, a little vacuum. As you're pumping it, this little tab here kind of sucks in as you're pumping it so you know you're pretty good. That's vacuum sealed now, will stay fresher much longer. So, know the different colors there where it's the red pepper and just the uh, tomatoes, sun dried tomatoes. When the seal is present, you cannot open it. To release a seal, you just kind of go, watch this little tab. Seal is released, and now it will open up. So you're all set.
very tasty. A good addition to broccoli. Colorful and tasty. Mmm. And quite a healthful alternative to cheese. Now the haystack, put some corn chips in a bowl. And normally you put cheese on top of these if you don't want to eat them healthfully, but the better way is you put some chili beans on top. I like extra juice because that kind of uh, mushes them real nicely. And some onions. Onions are always good. And then some uh, lettuce. If you want to put on some uh, sour cream, low fat or no fat, you can. Salsa homemade. From the tomatoes in our garden. It's mild. And then, of course, the cheese spread. And then you mix together. You have a good taste of food. Haystacks.